Happy 1st of December. Um, I'm going to be vlogging this year. I'm going to do 12 videos throughout December. It's going to be a lot. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. I thought I would film this one in advance so you have a video for the first because the first is like the most exciting part. We've got the whole of December to look forward to Christmas. I am about to head out with Matt. We're going on a little date night tonight. Some friends of mine, very kindly for my 30th, got me a voucher for Brat, which is the East London version of mountain that we went to in a few vlogs ago. So we are about to head out there soon. I just have to finish getting ready. I'm having a little glass of red wine. I am pretty much fully ready. I just need to choose an outfit which could take a long time. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna take you with us. Okay, so we are fully ready to go. I'm just gonna show you my outfit in a second, but I am basically wearing the brown jacket that you've already seen from before that I got tailored crew neck from and other stories and black pencil skirt and my NPC bag here you can see it are you ready to go Matt? yeah I think you just need to get your bit thing in I'm already yeah. Matt's looking very handsome okay. can you talk through your outfit? no I can't come on well it's pretty basic apart from just that black trousers Doc Martens long sleeve polo and my stone iron jacket where is the um, polo shirt from? A uh, Uniqlo. Okay. All right, looking very handsome. Yeah. I hope my head is in this. It might not be, but I have to go. This is the black pencil skirt from And Other Stories. It has belt loops, which I think is always an important detail to mention because a lot of skirts don't. This was some, I think you can see, some spotted tights and chunky black boots. My APC bag. Are you ready? Yeah. We're going.
the next morning after our amazing meal last night. We had such a good time at Brat. I need to tell you all about it. It was just really cute. Love the atmosphere and the food was really good. We were so full when we came home. I think they definitely told us to order more dishes than we needed. But yeah, we had such a good night. I'll tell you all about it. Um, we're just up and ready for the day. I'm just waiting on Matt finishing getting changed and then we're gonna walk into town. We're gonna get a nice coffee, get out in the fresh air. Um, we tried for Glastonbury tickets this morning and we were unsuccessful, which is very sad, but we know of quite a few people that got them, so makes it even worse. So we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna have a nice Sunday and just chill and get ready for work tomorrow, which is quite sad, but no Sunday scaries yet. We're gonna wait till later for that. I am wearing my Nasty Gal, I think it's Nasty Gal, a jumper from last year. This is like my Christmas jumper. Um, I don't normally shop in Nasty Gal, but I love the red and pink together. And I also have on my little red scrunchie from last year, right, not last year, from my scr scrunchie making workshop I did with the book club girls. So yeah, getting into the Christmas spirit. We still don't have a Christmas tree, of course, because it is still November and this is filmed in advance. So um, that is still to come for Vlogmas, but I hope you're having a lovely 1st of December. I hope you're in the Christmas spirit. And yeah, we're gonna have a nice Sunday together. Okay, so this is the final look. I have my June black chunky boots, my Uniqlo amazing like puffy feather jacket, which I got years ago. You can put it in the washing machine and just puff the feathers back up again and it just, it's very warm, it's like perfect. I would wear the skiing if it was like not as long. Then I've got my June boots with my Levi's and my red jumper. I'm crouching because I feel like you can't see me, but this is the final look. Can you see? Ready? food haul time. This is what we got from Aldi. Matt's just opening the doors because it's quite stuffy in here. This is what we got from Aldi. We're going to make some enchiladas and I'm also going to make us some cheese toasties for lunch. I'm going to have some tomato soup, some Heinz tomato soup with it. It's delicious. And Matt is going to have cheese and ham and mustard. I'm not, I'm not sure if I want it anymore, but we'll see. Are you going on hunger that. strike? I feel quite, quite fed up. After our coffees. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's let's maybe at like one o'clock, two o'clock. Well, it's ten to one. Okay, half one. Shall it, should we check in at half one and see how we feel? Let's check in. Then. Okay. So I have a very upset boyfriend about these glass and brew tickets. But I'm going to show you quickly what we got from the shop. First bag. We're using our reusable bags, by the way. We have a Sainsbury's one, an M&S one, and this Battenberg. Not Battenberg. That's the cake. Battenware bag. So first thing, we shopped at Aldi today and we thought we'll just see how much we spend and we just kind of got a few bits and a few meals. It came to £28, which is significantly cheaper than M&S and Sainsbury's. So first thing, some salad, a giant packet of Monster Munch. We got some coriander for our enchiladas, some coffee because we need coffee and we thought we'll just try the Colombian one, some onions, some chicken breast, fillets. Oh, I thought there was a bug in there, but it was just a piece of something. Some collard greens or spring greens, they call them in this, this time. Enchilada kit for our enchiladas tonight. And this is a family pack, because you know we are big eaters and yeah, we like our Mexican food. Pepper selection. Matt got some orange juice. Sour cream for enchiladas. We also picked up a couple of bits from the corner shop on the way home for treats to make us feel better, mostly Matt. We got in some Cheetos Twisted Flaming Hot because these are like, these are amazing. They're so good. He also got some wheat crunch, wheat crunches because he also likes these. 
I got San Pellegrino for with my lunch. And then Matt got Coke for his lunch. Then back to Aldi. We got these because I was fancying some plain grilled steak McCoy's. They're like my ultimate all time favorite crisps. When I was having a minor breakdown last week and just having a shit day at work, I ate a packet of them standing outside the food station. Oh, they're all steamed up, but these are some on the bind tomatoes. We got some angel slices. We got some raspberries. Finally, honey roast ham for our lunch. Okay, so now I'm gonna make, well, I'm gonna make myself a toasty. I'll see if Matt wants one. And yeah, that's what we got. I'm stuffing our bags away. So we have no space in these cupboards. I need to do a complete rejig of all of our cupboards and like have a clear out because we've got Tupperware with no lids and all sorts going on under here. I'll actually show you because it's a bit of a joke. This is the view of the cupboard. Tupperware here, random paper bags. These are reusable bags, but it's getting a bit silly. Oh, I forgot we have this little roasting tin as well. This is like work stuff, papers, more bags. <sighs> Need to clear that out. And then in here is actually just our plates and cups and some, my keep cup. Tea towels, napkins, bowls and plates. So I need to clear out. Also, we are still to get this fixed. I don't know if you saw in my vlog recently, but this door fell off the hinges. We need to talk to the landlord about it. Sunday night, the kitchen is currently filling up with smoke because Matt's doing a salsa and I can smell that something is burning in there. But I'm gonna ignore it because I need to get this makeup off my skin. Please excuse the fan as well. We're in the bathroom, as you can probably tell. Um, I would normally wash my hair on a Sunday, but I have the office tomorrow. I don't wash it today and I can't really be bothered. So I am gonna get on with that's the blender. You can hear, you can definitely hear that. <laughs> He's blending something. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm gonna do a face mask and hopefully that noise is gonna stop soon. Wow, so loud. So just quickly, I'm gonna use the CeraVe foaming cleanser, the oil one. I'm just gonna do it like this because it's better for you guys to be able to see it. I'll take off my Jamie Genevieve U tan that's underneath as well. So. 
jump scare. Here's a trigger warning. Well. So next step, I have cleansed my face and I've dried it off because this is a mask, a clay mask that needs to dry and set. This is the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. Invigorates and brightens skin's appearance. And we all need some of that. It's this kind of like orangey color. It properly exfoliates. I don't like rub it, so it's not really gonna do too much damage, I don't think, to like the initial layer of skin. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm gonna rub this in. Let me look in here. This is what it looks like. It is a little bit scary, but it really does exfoliate properly and you feel like your skin has properly had a good scrub. So I am gonna leave this for like 10 minutes, I think, 10 to 15, 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna wash it off with a hot flannel and then I'm gonna apply some more skincare. So I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like dried matte and it's like tightening up. So I'm gonna wash it off now. Now that I've actually taken that off, um, my skin does feel quite tight, so now we're gonna rehydrate. Obviously this is all about like rejuvenating the skin and you know, cleansing off any little dead bits. So it does feel a little bit tight. I'm gonna now use the Ole Hendrickson. It's basically like a glow tonic, kind of similar to the Polish Choice. Oh, the Polish Choice stuff. And I'm just gonna put that all over. It's like a tonic. It feels quite refreshing. A little bit stingy, but I always feel like that feels like products are working. Now I'm gonna go in with like my favorite skincare product of all time, I would say, the Essie Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I always get one of these for Christmas. It's just the best. It just really, really <laughs> repairs your skin. I feel like overnight you just, you feel hydrated. Let's do like, kind of need to look in there to see what I'm doing here. Yeah. So just rubbing that in. On top of that, I am going to go in with my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I have quite a small tub of this, I need another one. So I'm going to rub that in and then I'm going to go in with my pink Gua Sha. I've been doing this more regularly, mostly because in the mornings I'm really feeling it when I wake up with puffy face and puffy skin. Um, it does actually help day to day. I love that this one has this little like ridged edge here and I kind of just go and I do think it helps. I mean it might not be doing anything but I feel like I've noticed a difference. Maybe it's just my brain. I feel like that's my laptop running. Sorry about that, a little brief interlude to chat to my mum quickly. So this is the final result of the skincare. I'm just taking my rings off. I'm gonna settle down for the night now. I'm gonna show you later when we have our enchiladas, but I am gonna end this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Vlogmas. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.